Hello, everyone. I'm here with Richard Yonker, who leads product marketing for SMB. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining us. This is the second year in a row. Thank you very much. Yeah, good stuff. So CES, we're really excited here. Next year, uh, we have our showroom showing all of our small, medium business products, and then also insight uh, management, which is uh, pretty cool. We'll be giving everybody at home a run through um, of that with your team. So that's going to be great to see. Yep, we'll go through everything. Yeah. And uh, uh, thanks for the invitation. It's great to be here. Of course. Sometimes people ask, what do you do with business products at the Consumer Electronics Show? Right. Well, it's coming together. Uh, much of our uh, product actually sits in homes, either because people have a business at their home or it's business electronics used to provide audio, video, Wi-Fi in homes. And that's getting more advanced. Yeah. More people connect more stuff in their homes and everything gets digital. You know, if, if you look at what people consume in media, all of that is, is going over the internet, which means it goes over IP technology, which right. means it has to go through a switch and it has to go through the air over Wi-Fi. Definitely. Now, if, if you have home networking from Netgear, obviously, then you're good. But if you have a home that's bigger or you do things with multi-room audio or multi-room uh, video, um, you have a bigger home, you're lucky you know, to have that problem of having to install Wi-Fi at the other side of your swimming pool. Well, you need more advanced yeah. stuff, and, and that's business-grade networking. That's what we do, too. And you mentioned something about the switch. So I think switch is important because sometimes uh, consumers may be scared of it, or, or small businesses, but a lot of the routers or modems or, or other gateways, they come with only a select amount of Ethernet ports. And Ethernet ports are what you plug in for Internet if you want to plug in. Yep. But a switch gives you that ability to plug in, I don't know, twice as much, three times as much, four times as much, ten as times many, as much. As many as you want. Exactly. And so that I think that's what's powerful, and that's why some of those small, medium business products can be brought into the home, to that ultra smart home, um, because it, it makes it easier. Yeah. Um, and you don't lose any signal, so you talked about music streaming. Uh, music streaming and quality is only getting better and better. Yeah. You don't want to have quality from 10 years ago, you want the current day quality. Yeah, well, you see with audio, the, the quality hasn't increased since we had MP3, yeah. right? Which is, what, 20 plus years old? So that was going well over a 100 meg Ethernet switch or simple Wi-Fi uh, still today. Right. But video is increasing in quality. For anyone that's visiting CES or is following the news, they're having a bunch of 8K televisions out there. Oh, right? yeah. Didn't we just buy a 4K? No, we have 8K, yep. right? And the industry is already working on, on the more advanced screens. Right. Now, yeah, and you mentioned TVs. So one thing about that, it's not only 8K in small little frames, it's these are massive TVs that are now available to consumers. 80 inch plus, um, and so although it's a 8K, it's 80 inch plus screen, which requires even more bandwidth and that ability to have that high top yeah. quality. Well, if you go to a mall these days um, or any public place, really, you see big screens, uh, video walls that are made up of multiple video screens, right. right? But imagine all of that is a 4K screen, and every 4K screen needs enough signal to transport high resolution video there to build an even bigger video wall. And that's something uh, that creates a problem uh, because the current technology of, you know, HDMI, what's at the back of your DVD player and your, your uh, right. you know, your, your gaming box or, or your Apple TV, um, that doesn't do that high level video over a long distance, only, you know, be between your set top box and your television. Yep. But if you want to have it to the other side of your house, you need another technology. And current technology um, really is only networking and it needs to be fast, 10 gigabit. So if you look at the video industry, they're moving from, uh, let's say, basic HDMI and, and other technology like VGA, remember that? Oh, yeah. The plug that always breaks on your laptop. They're moving to other technologies. And basically, everything goes to audio video over networking, over IP. So 30% of the market already moved over. The rest will follow because you cannot do 4K over long distances without it. Right. And you need to go to higher speeds because the resolution is now 4K. It's going to be 8K. Now, that's for homes. That's for video walls. That is even for operation rooms or for schools, right? So that is a business where uh, we are very active in. And that's where you kind of see consumer technology and business technology come together. Right. So we have a lot of that uh, this year at uh, CES. Yeah, and the AV over IP is interesting because it's no longer just one single 4K screen. Uh, and you talked about uh, delivery rooms or places like here at CES or even 
um, you know, stadiums where there's a, a, maybe a concert, there's multiple screens and you want to show the same image or, or, or have 10 screens show one big image. And if one image has lag or, or if there's something wrong, being able to uh, auto detect that is important. And you can do that using Absolutely. our technology. Um, and using Ethernet, you can ensure that there's, we're minimizing if, if anyway is taken away the lag uh, and ensuring yeah. that that quality is a top quality and in real time too, so you can see yeah. what's going on. You can do what a uh, director of the TV news does with mixing and going from one camera to another camera, doing picture in picture, yep. doing a big screen, a split screen. All of what you see on television, you can now do yourself, right? And it's it's in a, you know, a high-end application, but we see that going uh, even into homes. And we partnered with a company, a uh, US market leader in this specific space called Savant. We have a demo where our networking and their video management technology comes together to do the seamless, absolutely lossless over 4K. Yeah. Um, and we use 10 gigabit networking for that. That's, That's awesome. an interesting, you know, high-end business networking suddenly coming to the home. Definitely. It's pretty exciting. Um, you know, something that uh, we're pretty excited about here at Netgear, 20 plus years of networking uh, innovation and the small medium business uh, side. What do you, what's coming up next? So yeah, I, I, I realized that. So, so we did a count, right? How many business networking products, mostly switches, did we sell? And how many small businesses, because that's the audience we serve, right? Yep. Are there? That's about the same number, about 60 million. So we've now sold more switches than there are businesses in the world. So on average, there's a switch in every single business in the world wow. from Netgear. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, we're showing things that, that you can use in a business and a home. For example, Power over Ethernet is an application that already exists, you know, for powering office phones, for example, or wireless access uh, points or cameras. Yep. But now you add door locks. And um, we have a demo in our CES uh, showroom where we show eight different new applications for power over Ethernet um, uh, that can be used in a home or in a business. For example, powering a screen, like yep. a touch screen yep. that goes over power over Ethernet. So you don't need to plug in to the power. Yep. It comes from the network. So we have that. We have speakers, amplifiers, uh, all kinds of uh, IoT uh, devices that all require a lot of power. And we had to build a new switch for that. That gives so much power that it can um, give enough energy to all these devices. That's called Ultra 60 PoE++, latest and the greatest standard. Yeah. Uh, we're launching that here at CES in a desktop version and a rack mount version. And uh, that's for uh, home installations, for uh, offices, for retail. Anyone that needs that level of power can use a Netgear switch to do that. Very efficient. Of course, it's Netgear. So we add the features you need. That's awesome. For the price. Yeah, that's great. That you want to pay. Awesome. It, and all of those products and features that Richard talked about uh, will be showing uh, everybody back at home on the Netgear showroom. So uh, we'll be bringing that to life. So that'll be great. Um, well, thanks a lot, Richard, for your time. I really appreciate it. You're very um, welcome. Netgear again, 2020.